Happy Tuesday, everybody. It is May 2nd, 2023. Who let it be May? Who freaking let it be May? Thank you so much for joining us here on the Great Night Pre-Show Green Room, Great Room, the whole dang thing. I'm Bryce Castillo, your pre-show navigator, your little escort. I'm not a little, I'm a, I'm a full-size escort. I'm an adult-size escort. I'm of legal size and volume. Uh, so that's uh, that's who I am. Bringing you in and out of the green room all night long. Coming up, we're gonna do. It's gonna. We're gonna do some media talks. We got some media talks coming up. Oh, we're talking me. Oh, and we're ta- and we're talking media. Uh, we got some green room coming up for you. We're gonna do some YouTubing. We're gonna do some YouTube. Intro. We're we're gonna do a little bit of deep diving on YouTube. Specific, more diving than the deep. You know, you might hear you might hear the term deep diving and think, oh, this is like a carefully researched land it, it's gonna be you know, uh, <laughs> we're gonna be diving it's gonna be more of the deep and not or no is it the deep or the dive it doesn't matter that'll be coming up uh uh in a little bit of course if you want to support us and goodness wouldn't you want to support us over on patreon patreon.com slash great night dot quorum Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Of course, you can get the bonus episode as a subscriber. Only Diamond Lounge get email updates and get an easy RSS feed that you don't have to friggin' log into. Patreon.com slash great. That's my, I think that's a robot. That's like if it was like a robot version of a baseball bat. Patreon.com slash great. I don't like that. That's what I'm thinking, at least. It's simply what I'm thinking, at least. Well, in the meantime, let's take it over to the green room. Can you hear me? Yo, no. You cannot. Yo. Justin, yo. I, I can't yo. hear him. You yo. can't hear me. Do, yo. do you think Bryce is talking? Uh, no, I think uh, Bryce is currently not confused about whether or not this is a technical problem or a bit. You can't yeah. hear, me? hear me? Oh, you can hear me. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Uh, hey man, so I, I don't want to spoil our A block here. Ah! But, but, <laughs> but, That's the noise that Bryce makes when Brian's about to spoil the A block. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you know what? Let me talk about something totally unrelated. No, what were you going to talk about? Whoa. Was it the A block? Was it all four things in the A block? Maybe. Uh, so it's Super Mario, <laughs> Mandalorian. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm, I'm ah! helping you. You didn't know what you were talking about, and I'm trying to help you think. I'm trying. I'm trying very hard to not be thinking about those things. Yeah, uh, but you brought okay. it up. I'm trying to help you. How the fuck am I supposed to be a friend if I'm not helping you remember all the things that we talk about? Oh, World's Greatest Con is another one. Uh, and then Bryce is talking about the whale. Did you want to spoil Bryce's whale takes? Uh, Don't tempt him. Uh, he could. <laughs> Question. Okay. Is it weird that Bryce hates the whale? And I'm not going to say who our friend is. Yeah. But we have a friend. Yeah. Who, in general, gets upset when it gets very warm in yes, Austin. Indeed. Yeah. Is it weird that this year has been so pleasant? Fucking gorgeous. For so long. Sell all your property and move to Austin immediately gorgeous. So late into the summer. Like, we need to actually, the moment, and actually it might be sooner rather than later, uh, that uh, uh, Cargill comes back because he's been in London for the past two months. We just need to clown him repeatedly that he missed some of the best weather that Austin has ever produced. I mean, as being like uh, among a capital T capital a, the Austin guy. I mean, maybe uh, like, like, like we all remember, you know, 20 years ago, the fact that there was a hundred days in a row where the temperatures got over a hundred degrees. Yeah. Uh, it was why, <laughs> why don't we remember the hundred days in a row where every fucking day has been amazing. Perfect. Today, high of 81. Or no, sorry, high of 80 today. High of 80 today. Okay. It's just now coming down. What? 79. Gorge. What would be the kindest way for us to react to our mutual friend? Yeah. Uh, about the fact that 
every day that it's gorgeous is only further evidence that he's about to encounter warmth. <laughs> I mean, if that that is, you know, everything you need to know about his brain, right? <laughs> like that that in happiness, all he can think about is the end of happiness. Like that is that is not to I, not to, not to psychologize, but like that tells you everything you need to know about the man. I mean, I I may relate to some amount of that. Uh, so, all right. So your answer for me, my answer is, well, that tells me a lot about you. For your answer is, amen, brother. <laughs> Eventually, this gravy train's gonna come crashing off the tracks, and we're all gonna die. I mean, okay, look. Uh, uh, New topic. Uh, right now, <laughs> I'm 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 about twenty pounds heavier than I should be. Right. Sure. As I'm fond of reminding Bonnie, what is the point of being ha fat and happy if you're not even happy? Yeah. At least be happy. Yes. While you're fat. And while happy, you're fat. Yeah. Right? So uh, uh, I I I feel like that's what our mutual friend Andrew Heaton. We're talking to you. You want to call him in your own voice? Let's call him. Let's call him. I'm Andrew. Call Andrew Heaton. I'm an impression of Andrew Heaton. All right, here we go. We're calling. So you can tell your advice to him. Hi, thanks for calling. The person you're trying to reach is now. But you can leave a message after the beep. You got blind. All right. Uh, uh, hi, Andrew. Yeah. This is uh, uh, The Great Night Show, and Brian has some words of wisdom that he was telling the rest of the internet that he wanted to tell you personally. So here we go. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen him on the morning cartoon shows. It's Brian Brushwood. Yeah. I, I, okay. Maybe I began by saying there's one thing I trust Andrew Heaton to never, ever do, and that's block my friend, Justin Robert Young. And have them go straight to voicemail. Felt like more of a network thing, but that's fine. Uh, there was no ring. It just went right to it. But you had life advice. Okay. Uh, oh, man. Um, I, I, just do an impression. Just do an impression. Any impression. Hello, Andrew Heaton. No, it's not, me. That's the one you. that you can't do. No, no, no. Another impression. Okay. All right. <clears throat> George Washington, go. No, no, no. no. George Washington Carver, go. Brian, Brian, Oh, you got it? Okay, here we go. All right. All right. No, nope, I can't. I can't. Nope, 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 nope. These nuts. That's my George Washington Carver impression. Uh, okay, do, do you want to know all of the <laughs> nopes that I did during that moment? No. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure? Because that would be a thing we could talk about. Oh, wait. No, I, no, I, I thought you were saying, did I know the notes you were doing? Oh, no, no. And no. I said, no, did I did not know the <laughs> notes. Sorry. No. What I, what I meant to say was, do you want to hear all of the notes that I did? Oh, oh, like, oh yes, yes, uh, I would. Yes, I would like to, yes. <laughs> One of them was the guy from mil the milk commercial who said, Alan Burr. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was one of them. Uh, I was like, no, 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 no. Um, Casey Kasem, that was another one. I was thinking about the Casey Kasem impression the other day. Today, actually. Just the, like... Fucking, like, fucking and condoms, by man. And by the way, I'm Casey Kasem. Justin Robert Young writes, What's up? Well, I don't know what's up, but I do know Janet Jackson's hit, Control, is at number five. He's up. He's up tempo numbers, man. You're throwing me a goddamn death dedication. I got a fucking dead dog on my hands with these up tempo numbers. Take off your pants and jacket. He was still doing it when that shit was popping, right? That's literally why they titled the album. So they could make Casey yes. Kasem yes. say, take that, off that, your that, pants and jacket? Yes, that That's is literally amazing. the reason for that title. Um, do we want to talk about the writer's strike? Yeah. Let's talk about the writer's strike. The, the writers are striking. 
<laughs> okay. It, uh... And you won't believe what happens when we gave them the picket line. <laughs> to the best of your understanding, what do they want this time? Um, First, they wanted money. Now they want... So, no, it's money. It's always money. Money. The problem is is that uh, the all, problem of, is, all of Hollywood is fucked. All um, of Hollywood is fucked. Like, there's no financial underpinning of the next five years. There's no financial <laughs> underpinning of the next five years. Are you mocking me? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm actually... I'm, I'm fighting against money to just review <laughs> whatever you say. That's just called mocking. <laughs> like, like a hype People man. don't mock... People don't no, no, mock no, no. because, but, no, because I, it's I, not I, funny. I, they I, mock I, because they I'm, find I'm, it's funny. I'm, I'm actually, you're just discovering no, 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 what no, no, mocking I'm, is. I'm on your side. You're right? not. No, no, now you're gaslighting. <laughs> no, no. No. Now you're gaslighting. Before you were mocking. I'll tell you what. You let, have learned how to mock and gaslight very effectively. Let, let, let's try a scientific let's experiment. Let's try a scientific experiment. <laughs> okay. But, okay, but you have to. You have to. You have, you have to. to. You, you have, have to, to say, say it with, with the true belief. True belief. True belief. True belief. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've just found how excited I get when I hype man you. <laughs> what is the difference between a hype man and a heckler? <laughs> I'll tell you. Tone. Hype man goes up. Okay. All right. So, so uh, uh, which would, uh, uh, in our scientific experiment, yeah. which one do you want to be? I will demonstrate what a hype man is okay. by hype manning. Okay, it. all right. All right. Yes. I'm going to say a true fact. All right, ready? Yeah. <sighs> I signed up for chat GPT. GPT! <laughs> I told GPT to be a, ma a malevolent AI who asks riddles. It's man mean! <laughs> Uh, my kids like to try to answer the riddles. Fruit of his loins. <laughs> Wait, all right, let's go. Okay. <laughs> now, now, same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Give me the alt. Okay. There okay. you go. Yeah. I signed up for Chat GPT. Signed up for Chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a large language model, uh, I, I, I had it pretend to be role play. It's a large language model. I pretended to make it role play. <laughs> My kids like it. My kids love that. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> which one of those was I doing? I, I, I thought the I was. The second one. Well, no, you really weren't. You weren't doing either. You were just repeating me verbatim. Verbatim. And that's part of it. Is that mocking is, I can just say what you're saying, but it'll be read differently. Whereas hype man is, all your shit is gold. I'm either echoing a key point of it, or even better, just just yelling one thing that you said because it's in tribute. They are the flock. You are Jesus. Like they are just repeating the thing in in praise that that they that they heard. So 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 like when Jesus is on the mount, people aren't just repeating everything that Jesus is I saying. No, I mean let's roll the tape here. <laughs> Who are you? Are you I think he's hype manning, but I, I don't think Skype Skype's a player hater. <laughs> uh, my, uh, here's my question: Is which is the greater crime? Should we try? Should we try the heckling hype man? You try to do I, a thing, I, and then I'll try the the fucking most dangerous. Yes, the most dangerous of all. Colin recites. Okay, the heckling hype man. Okay, so uh, real quick uh, uh, before we attempt the experiment yeah. i suspect that my crime just now was being in the mushy middle i was yes. neither clearly a hype man neither you were not particularly you. mocking it was but you just... were repeating everything verbatim correct which is it's like solely the have, domain of have mockery. a take yeah okay okay, yeah. okay 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 so let's avoid that uh okay who wants to talk who did jesus to... need a hype man he had 12 
He needed fucking 12 hype men. Wow, way to leave out Mary Magdalene. Hype woman. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm taking the high road to Galilee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's take something neutral. <laughs> One of us says it, and the other decides to either uh, 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 the worst of us. We do agree that the worst of them is 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 just neutral. All right, repeating. we have somebody who will say shit. Okay. Brett, how are you, sir? I'm doing well, uh, John the doing Baptist. Doing well, jo John the Baptist was the a Baptist. Hype man. It's not that. It, it's not that that repeating it verbatim is the worst it's just ver uh, repeating it verbatim is the base level of mockery yeah i don't know like like at least you have I a don't take know. Here. at least you have a take See, right that's better right because at i know better. right mm. i'm more comfortable with what you're doing now that wouldn't be you wouldn't read that as mockery i would read it as a bit so well, now that we're doing a bit, yes, obviously. Okay. So you can't get meta. Brett, which is the worst? Between the two of you? No, between, in the universe. Between the, between the two uh, of you? Uh, oh, I hate being mocked. So. Yeah, hate, As opposed I to being hyped. Me. I would love to be hyped. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I had to. I'm the youngest of five. I, there was a time Hold period on. where I had <laughs> let's, let's, family let's, members pointing at me and oh, laughing. Okay. That I don't need that shit. Brett, I, we need you to say something. Justin, you can choose to be the hype. I will or hype. The mock. I will hype, and you mock. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, but none of us will just repeat. Well, <laughs> mocking is repeating, but sure. Or unless you want to do your version of mocking. You well, take it wherever you want. Okay. All right. I'll mock. Go ahead. All right. I so love tell, tell us about your day. Tell us about... Okay. Yeah. I, I started doing it already. Mm -hmm. uh, Start by telling us about your day. All right. Woke up this right. morning. Right. This morning... And uh, no, now you're just bullying. <laughs> <laughs> so, bullying so, so, is okay, different okay, than now, mocking, right? <laughs> okay, okay. So, so we have a hype. So now we have, so we have we bullying, we hyping, have mocking, gaslighting, okay. <laughs> bullying, and mocking. We've gotten through four this is very real distinct we're things doing right now. Okay, because you what were bullying that? him because you wouldn't you wouldn't even let him say his truth. You were bullying him into changing what he was going to say it by is, shaping it. It is weird that I you would bring in race happening. to it. <laughs> what was that? What, 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 what did I just do? That? I don't know. <laughs> that Call was me not mood. getting your joke. <laughs> it wasn't a joke. It was just me. We're doing science. We're sure. finding it out. Wait, so you just threw out a random race yes. identifier? Yes. That had no underpinning. To make you uncomfortable. Yes. Well, I don't even know what to call that. Yeah, yeah right? Okay, all right. Okay. So you're doing uh, new frontier. You're doing new frontier. Smash cut to like a periodic table. Oh, thank God we're the, recording The this. elements that we're doing. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Scientific experience, go. Uh, had to drive up to Georgetown today. Georgetown? Yep. Georgetown. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> missed all the traffic, too. Swerving. Missed it, huh? Can't say I missed it. <laughs> uh, Hell no. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> it's really... it's. It, it feels terrible even as I'm doing it. <laughs> I feel like you're kicking a puppy and I'm the yeah. puppy. I don't yeah. know. I feel like I'm giving the puppy five dollars. That's right. Five dollars. Yeah. Five dollars. Oh wait. Now you have two <laughs> hype men. <laughs> Say something more. <laughs> It's complicated. Yeah. 
I walked in on this. Oh, poor Bryce. Poor Bryce. Poor oh, Bryce. <laughs> Bryce is poor. Poor Bryce. Jesus. That was a mock. I said, that was a mock. That was a mock. Literally, that was a mock. You said, no, you said Bryce is poor. No. You said Bryce is poor. You know Bryce being no, poor is kind of your fault. Said Bri- yeah, so. you're his boss. Yeah. Bryce, would you like to come join us? I think we have something to deconstruct here. <laughs> I think he's. I don't know why that. anyone would want to walk into this room. Yeah, this is. I did on purpose. Just this to is say like the, the fucking Battle Royale Island. Like, like, why would anybody vacation in a in a room that's only about mockery, gaslighting, bullying, and, and hype. hype manning and hype and hype manning? And you don't you know might, what you're gonna get. Like, sure, sure. In, in, in Russian roulette, there is one empty chamber. <laughs> I mean, my, 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 I just thought we were doing science. I thought there were five empty chambers, and the sixth one had the bullet. You know what? Pussy. Oh. When there was only one chamber. That was me covering for the fact that I fucked up the concept of the Russian <laughs> roulette. See, I went into bullying. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I changed the topic I by way things. of bullying. I know things. Now. Mm-hmm. 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 <sighs> so, how was everyone's day? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of... I, I, to be honest, I'm kind of torn because, like, uh, I do want to kind of scientifically figure out all of the the taxonomy. Of yes, everything of all this. I do think but, we're doing very important research. Uh, but maybe we put a pit in it and uh, instead wait say for hello Bryce to Bryce. say hello words. Bryce Castillo. Bryce. Hi, everybody. Hey, Bryce. How was your day? It was good. Bryce. I was having a good day. I was thinking maybe I could say something and you could huh? either... Hype man it, mock it, <laughs> repeat it neutrally, or question mark the undiscovered element. Uh-huh. Yeah, sorry, you're describing a conversation. No, so uh, Brian like wants to get, do a, say Brian wants to do a monologue, uh-huh. and he wants to give you the uh, uh, the conch, so you can either mock him, mock him, hype or, him, or hype him. Uh, bully him, bully him, or or respond neutrally. Our new element that we've just discovered that wait no hype, science. hype, mock, bully. What was the fourth one? Uh, there was also uh, uh, gaslight, 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 or yeah. you can gaslight him. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. So those hmm. are the four flavors that we've introduced so far. Hmm. Or hmm. if like Brian attempted the just random Completely race different. bomb being thrown into a conversation, <laughs> oh, that's what it was. you can it also was try bomb, to invent yeah. new new yeah. things. Yeah, I, you okay. know what? I don't, I don't. I don't like to close any doors that I don't have to. But I'm probably not going to go through that one. <laughs> Look, you're the artist. <laughs> just, just uh, here's just let everybody here's know. your easel. Here's your grease paints, mm-hmm. uh, Brian. Please, your monologue. So I bought uh, one of those Google Nest thermostats. I got one of those Google Nest thermostats. <laughs> I think I know what this one is. Yep. <laughs> Great hype. Keep going. <laughs> That's Gaslighter. <laughs> <laughs> we're identifying. We're, we're doing real science. This is good. Real we're, science. Real you're, science. You're just <laughs> noticing different nouns. It's not. <laughs> Write it down. That's gaslighting. There it is. Why did you think I brought the pad in with me? <laughs> so I, I, uh, I don't know how to feel about the fact that there's a camera of some sort in the Nest thermostat. Should I feel weird about? It has oh, a camera in it. That is weird. What? Why does it have a camera? Well, this, this is just a normal segment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> another, another thing response. where it just it's just a normal we, segment. We have to yeah. identify this element as yes. well. Yes, control. This is general yes. support. We right. are now removing yeah. ourselves from the the heightened tension. We are now moving into a normal segment. I'm right. laughing. Uh, I don't know yeah. how to feel about the fact. Like, I, part of me appreciates that you know, as I walk up to the thermostat. It uh, number one, it shouts out the number that I want it to be. It suddenly says sixty-eight degrees, and then qualifies it, it with like in forty-five minutes. And it's like it speaks. It's well, got a speaker, uh, well, uh, or no, it just it says it on the display. That's what it displays. Yes, okay. but okay. but but it recognizes. If it could speak, what voice? <sighs> it's gonna be sixty-five degrees in forty-five minutes. Think we got it? Moving on. <laughs> 
<laughs> but 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 I don't know. Like I kind of want to be angry because it says it gives me a timeline. It is like, uh, uh, yes, yes, I know, sixty eight degrees in forty five minutes, and I'm like, sure you can, you know, a little bit, you know. Speed up the process. I'm, Give them five bucks. Yeah. But don't you control it? Yeah, it's your AC. It is only as going as powerful as your system can handle. I'm mm-hmm. beginning to discover that it's not got a shitty under AC. my control. Oh. It's like it uh it says, Yes, yes, I know you want blank. Mm-hmm. We're working on it. It'll be blank. And mm-hmm. then like I how do you argue with that? <laughs> Why do you want to argue? What are you arguing about? Well, I, I, he I mean, wants it colder right now. Yes. And the thermostat is saying, well, we all know that the earth is dying. <laughs> so if you could have 45 minutes of patience. Yes, yes. I know you your wish. Uh, but, um, but you know what? Dun, I, I would dun, wish dun, for. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I would wish for colonization upon Mars immediately. But you mm. know what? We can't all have our wishes. Mm. I'm a thermostat. Quiet, so quiet. Here's what I'll get back to you. Indeed. 45 minutes. But a pittance. Question. Okay. That was Victorian hype, man. That was Victorian yes. hype, man. It was great. Yes. Yeah. Actually, that's question. Was it already set for 68 degrees a long time ago, or did it just change to 68 degrees? This is what I'm figuring out about that sneaky nest is a uh, sneaky you, nest. You walk away and it just decides to let it get real warm. And then you show up and it already knows what you want it to be. And it says, mm-hmm. I'm working on it, boss. 45 minutes. <laughs> it's like, could, couldn't you have already... Mm. All right, pause this. Pause. Bryce. Yeah. If I were to tell you that the problem that Brian has could be fixed by two toggles in an app that's on his phone right now, would you believe me? I assumed that. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm hearing it and I'm going... Well, that motherfucker's that can't on a schedule. Right. Yeah. That motherfucker's on a schedule. Yes. And he didn't, he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't on the right schedule. Well, it... Because it's supposed to... Kruger, Kruger's got it right. It's supposed to learn your schedule I with agree. the proximity stuff. But if you've got it in... A, if it's in a certain place where maybe there's not... Like, that, that's a thing. And also... Which... It's not broken. You can fix it. Maybe you when you it. leave, it says, oh, you've left the house. So now we're going to set it yeah. to this temperature. And then you come back in and it goes, oh, you're here. That means we need to turn it back. Oh, so wait. So is the idea that it's learning? Yes. It, it is learning. And so it will be better the more that you walk up and be like, why is it so goddamn hot? Yes. Gotcha. And, and, and it's and listening for that. Which, which is frustrating <laughs> because never once has it ever displayed uh already on it you're already at 68 degrees you're welcome i'm great i'm a nest yeah. instead walk up and it's like ha i know what you want 68 degrees it'll be 45 <laughs> minutes i don't like it i don't like it maybe you should blame it on apo- the rain apologize to the uh hvac man mm-hmm. that desperately told you that those things were terrible well, I mean, first of all, mm. oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going out of oh, um, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Preach. Sorry. I Preach. Was, I was being a hype man. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's gaslighting. Yes. <laughs> gaslighting. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. I love the four elements. We're all, <laughs> yep. We're all. And now he's God. pulling. He's delighting in my pain. Yeah. This is a, that's this is a, wow. Uh, well, yeah. so, okay, so how long has it been doing this? When did uh, you get that it, it, uh, Apparently, it takes like uh, 60 to 90 days to actually figure out your routine or whatever. So, right now, have uh, you considered I feel, I feel just like putting it's it on schedule? I like, feel like it's, you know, fibbing it, a little bit. Does it support just like a manual schedule? Like, you could just say, like, Should like, be able with, to do like that. other thermostats will do that. I, I would also say that you're, you're, I mean, the, you're, whole, you're the whole you're point current. is I'm not supposed to have to make the schedule, but. Well, yeah, then and, and also then you just your, your family is at a point where it's like everybody's kind of in and out constantly, right? It's not like there's a period in which everybody's at work or school and you could let it get a little hotter and then you chill it 45 minutes before everybody comes in. Like that would be a more 
patterned schedule for which the nest would be it would be easy for it to figure out yeah. you guys are kind of constantly in and out between everybody that's there especially when when penny's in town right uh, also i'm almost certainly complicating things by the fact that we only have we have we have a dumb thermostat downstairs and a smart thermostat upstairs oh so it's and not so even like in the walkway where everybody walks by yeah i mean and then that was me hyping you <laughs> Gaslighting gas again. Gaslighting again. Gas again. Gas again. Gas again. Gas again. again. Which now the fact science. that he's done it, the this fact that science. he's done it that twice, make it better, the actually. fact that he's done it twice means it's also mocking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the, and one. It, it also sounds and like, one. It, it seems like you need to widen the geofence on your device so that it knows when you mocking. get within. Two Widen hours, two the miles. the geofence. That is something to Widen do. Widen the geofence. That geofence needs to be wide. That's right. Mocking. mocking. So Definitely mocking. Shrobbing. I'm shrobbing. Repeated, right. yeah. okay. Which is mocking. Yeah. 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 You can't get it. Yeah. 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 So the geofence, you think it's a geofence thing? It's the geofence. Those things don't... Okay. Because you can widen it out to like three miles. You start kicking in when you're th three miles. No, no, no. no that's... I, I, I don't know if... I, I think that the way that the Nest works is by that... And I don't know if it's a camera or, or a proximity sensor, but like there is a an element that lets people... That lets the machine know that there are people around. It's not a Bluetooth thing where oh, okay. like... If you're in the right zone, then it starts cooling it down. Hmm. I right. think I don't know, but I don't fucking know shit. I'm 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 actually like I'm, I'm gonna break pattern right now. I'm really into the idea of making a periodic table of comedy moves, uh, <laughs> including the pattern break that I just did right now, where I suddenly got real. Uh, I, I, Nothing says comedy like a periodic table. <laughs> I don't know. There's there's certainly got to be a red bubble shirt that already has that. Oh shit. All right. right. Well, let's like, see. It's a red let's bubble see. shirt. Uh, red bubble it's a periodic it's a, table uh, of comedy. To direct print uh t shirt website. Pretty good. Uh as an pretty... idea for a design? Or just I mean, a website? I, I what I'm saying is I'm I'm filling the air while literally the books. number one uh, uh, image search result is from Redbubble. <laughs> uh, oh, but it's the periodic table of TV shows. Oh, hmm. not comedy. So TV shows, very, very mocking comedy heavy. Very much. Yeah. Get those, get those actual uh, periodic tables. Hmm. Hey, uh, what's the worst podcast? What's the one that, uh, we can all agree is bad and we can publicly just hate on why don't you start <laughs> <laughs> i feel like we just discovered a new element on the periodic table uh, <laughs> um um because i mean maybe there's got to be something that came to mind that brought that made you bring it up uh uh, uh you know what uh hold on I'm okay gonna, i'm okay. gonna call someone uh Beep bop, beep oh, bop, oh, please don't do that. Oh, oh no. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this, is this working? Hello? Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Hello. Hi, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Are you there? Yes, it's me. Oh, you are there? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, good. We're what do Justin. you have to say? We're with Justin Robert Young. Yes. That's as close as I'm going to say. To a, a to a, a premise. premise uh, okay, so you hold on. You picked up the phone. You called Justin. Yes, I'm talking like this is how I talk when I'm not in character. <laughs> That's the real you. This wanted, is the real me. I just realized that that what I wanted to do was shine a spotlight on the trope of connecting with somebody as a bit in a podcast, but then I realized. My question was, what specific podcast? Yeah, your question was, on? excuse me, everybody, uh, who would you like to set on fire? Yes. Right away? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Just yeah. a heads up, anybody. I've got a guillotine here. Anybody yeah. you want to try it out? There we yeah. go. I'm doing some neck trials sure. for my guillotine. Yep. I would love uh, a couple of volunteers. Yeah. Can we talk about Columbo? <laughs> we can. 
It's twenty. There is a. Uh, I think we sure. would uh, uh, probably talk about. It. We're probably gonna talk about it in the. Okay. You mean the, the World's Greatest Con episode. The reboot. It is a reboot, but not the reboot that is current. Uh, the reboot from 1989 uh. featured an episode that was inspired by Project Alpha. That oh. somebody pointed out to us. Mm, so interesting. I'm looking forward to We will talk about, about Columbo that. Goes to the Guillotine on our question and answer yeah. episode. I, uh, Trending Lemon. <laughs> My answer to the bit before this one. <laughs> Disconnected enough that we can just let it float. Only real heads know. You know also, what? You're also, the only one who's allowed to do it because you've been on the sh- you were on that show. I was on the so show the most. <laughs> uh, 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 did you see this? Uh, this T-Mobile thing is uh, fucked. What happened? <laughs> I have no idea what happened. So T-Mobile got hacked again. Uh, yeah. For I think they said it's the eighth time since 2018. Oh, Christ. Okay. I have T-Mobile. Me too. And uh, they called me today. Are all your dick pics out on the internet? <laughs> they, uh, supposedly, they're all locked and secured. They're all secured. Supposedly. Have you asked to go see them like at a safe deposit box? <laughs> uh, no, I, like, I, had to, <laughs> I had to wait for that tenant moment for me to be able to do it when the guys go, are going back. You go, you go into a purple room, mm-hmm. <laughs> and, wow. a, and, and, and a man in a neatly tailored yeah. suit on a velvet uh, velvet mat lays out all of your dick pics, dick pics. so you can know. <laughs> oh, nice uh, yes, cushion. excellent. Mm. They're all still here. Yeah, Please up. return them to the servers. <laughs> we will. And he winks, but it kind of glitches because you want to show visually that you're in a digital world. Yeah, yeah. It's a metaphor, Brian. Yep. And <laughs> Brian is holding in something that is either unfunny or inappropriate or both. There's a, Brian only makes that face when he's holding in something like, that is something. either unfunny, inappropriate, or both. It's usually both. Yeah. It's usually both. In the chat, somebody, <laughs> somebody said, I right. just. So unfunny is in play. I just now noticed a mirror tray on the table, perfect for nose candy. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Inappropriate and unfunny. <laughs> just a statement. <clears throat> so, so it was so bad. They called me. <laughs> they called me this afternoon. They're like, "Hey, thank you for being such a loyal customer." Oh, Lord. oh did they offer you free shit? They were they were gonna, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to listen to it. But they they really, uh, it's it's fucked. We're I'm thinking of changing off of T-Mobile. Man. So to be honest, uh, it's really like really kind of fucked. How many data breaches there are? Are you there? like like thinking all, all, all your pictures, Arby's? All of your. <laughs> I just wanted to get that one joke. <laughs> Brian Ar- Arby's. Yeah, it, it was, was a, a non sequitur. I'm, I'm thinking. Yeah. I was like trying to engage him. I was going to engage him in a serious conversation about telecoms, but instead, whew, roast Me beef straight to Arby's. <laughs> roast beef right at the <laughs> end. <laughs> Put that one on, on the periodic table. For Arby's. The roast beef. Just non sequiturs. <laughs> the roast beef, but it's neither a roast or a beef. Nope. Discuss. Uh, <laughs> Call back. Yeah. <laughs> And so, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It's it's a uh, it seems like a bad it seems like a not a good thing to keep waking up and finding out like, hey, your name and address and social security number and just everything. It's all out there again. For Everybody the time. can be a new five price. years. Can, can we make John Legere wouldn't do this? John Legere would not let this happen. We need to bring him back. Uh, Where'd he go? He got paid out or something. He's he's off. I'm Make sure he's cash. got like a lit Instagram. Maybe. I feel. Oh my goodness. Ah, hey, hello. holy shit. We got an open bio. Oh, I forgot to mention we got open bio hanging out. Open <laughs> yeah, I was about to holy say. Fuck. You guys left at the meeting. <laughs> and then I forgot. <laughs> um, uh, I, I don't think I realized until this moment how much open bio looks like Jack Black. Oh, yeah. Oh, Did yeah. It? No, uh, oh, give, oh, give me a crazy Jack Black face. Like, yeah. Hold it longer. No, better no when you're not. Yeah. yeah. Don't make him. Don't make him. Okay. Yeah. We'll just notice. Jack Black's going to come up during my A Block film. Well, you know what? He was in my A Block as well. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. We have different. Yeah. I'm sure, we have different thoughts. We do. Tune Bryce, what's your channel. thought on the uh, on the strike? 
Uh, who's, who's right? I I'm who's s- right? Make a call right now. Oh, probably the probably the writers. Wrong. Oh. They're not gonna pay our checks. <laughs> like we need a curry favor. Like they're they're sitting out, Bryce. This is our time. This is our time. I let's want- str- let's break the picket line. Okay. And let's let's and extract maximum wealth. Scabs in maximum- heaven. <laughs> Okay, that's but that's also we'll dying. Be. Would you know my scam? Yes. If you saw it in heaven. That's what we're doing. We're doing bright. We're Would doing it. Let's write. We can write whatever we want. Today. It's all there for us. Do right. we want to write another season be of Succession? We could. We could. Heaven. We could. I j- let's I j- pitch it to HBO right now. But then there's nothing stopping us doing that. I guess there Rats wouldn't be anything stopping us from. I guess it is a prime time to do this, yes. This is the number one time to do it. What is going to happen in the next season? The grandkids time hop 18 years. All right. And now they're trying to get it from, uh uh-oh, Greg Roy. Exterior uh, of the the skating rink in Rockefeller Plaza. Okay. Um, Small child skating. Uh, falling down, and uh, the the father's like, "Oh, honey, don't worry." Child looks down at the center and sees a little little piece of the ice kind of rumble, mm. and and she's like, "What?" Looks a little bit closer, a little bit of a crack, right? Oh, wow! All of a sudden, a gigantic explosion. Everybody's dead at the skating rink. Jesus, it's. The Hulk, <laughs> and and he punches up through the fucking center of Rockefeller Plaza, uh-huh. and he looks dead in the camera, and and goes, uh, 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 "I got a million of them. <laughs> I'm the Hulk." <laughs> Backflip, opening credit, succession. Uh- Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's a hypothetical. Uh, I love it. My banking information is as follows: <laughs> account. Uh, mm, how can I put this? Hypothetically, if this strike were to go on for a very long time, yes. Seems like many places would want to buy content to fill, let's say, the CW's primetime spot. Mmm, CW. If okay. only somebody had 500 believe. plus episodes of content. Uh, these are, are, oh, Brian, I think you were thinking of actual thoughts. Let's get back to my yeah. scene one. Uh, uh, so the, green the Hulk is sitting in the Waystar Royco office. Okay, yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and Jerry, Roy. And Jerry, uh, Jerry's yeah, yeah. like, like uh, uh, Hulk, uh, we got a real problem where you punched up through the center of Rockefeller Plaza. Uh, uh, Hulk uh, phases. Me action it. Phases. Off. He phases out. He phases out? Gone. Oh, He's oh out. Interior hell. Uh, uh, Satan is there, and Satan says to Pee Wee Herman, uh, uh, a little hot exterior. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, it, we're in a billiards we're hall that's down. outside. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. an outside an billiards outdoors? hall. Outdoor billiards hall. Wow. It's called uh, 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 Balls Are Loose. Yeah. And. Yeah. Uh, Balls are loose. We're uh, the only thing loose in our Pritt, balls. Brad Pitt. Brad. Are Brad spots. Pritt is being played by <laughs> Brad, Brad Pitt. Pitt. <laughs> but uh, uh, he wears a shirt that says "legally not binding," uh, uh, and okay. he's uh-huh. talking uh-huh. with his hands like Brad Pitt always does. And sure. he's like, he's like, uh, uh, we got to stop these waste Royco guys. Am I right? Uh, flips over, and it's Johnny Five. And Johnny Five looks at Brad Pitt and says, uh, 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 Johnny Five alive. Oh, uh, wow. Commercial break. That's the HBO commercial break. has commercial breaks now. Oh, yeah. Wow. HBO also, has. It's not just I, a stinger. I, I, yeah. like, I like the tie in with the fact that uh, uh, Fisher uh, Stevens is yes, in succession. Exactly. Yeah. They never meet. <laughs> 
<laughs> they never meet. Good, good. We make sure that they're never <laughs> in the same scene. And, and, and an, every I'm time an, they're on the screen, they never Brian, meet. Brian Brushwood is screaming, when's Fisher <laughs> Stevens going to meet Johnny Five? <laughs> never happens. Never. Not once. So, yes, don't worry, Hollywood. <laughs> I am willing to moonwalk across that picket line at any moment. I'm here to save the day. Don't worry. I will write all I, shows. I, I think that the Russo brothers are looking at each other going, yeah, I think we're going to be okay. I, I think, think we're, gonna we're be fine. Now that we watched him. Yes. Yes. We're going to be fine. Fellas. Yes. Delusion. That's another That's comedy right. thing. <laughs> Delusion. What would the theme song for Delusion uh, sound like this is the show called delusion <laughs> if you don't know what you want then you don't know what you need delusion delusion is filmed in front of a live studio audience <laughs> no all, <arm. laughs> all, all guests of delusion are stay at the beverly hills hilton and are given a suit from suit man please notice in suit the next you. scene the cameras will not cut away <laughs> fisher stevens never meets johnny five <laughs> Also, Johnny Five wouldn't know Fisher Stevens because he speaks with a non-Indian accent. <laughs> yep. Does now. It's just a real thing, yeah. Yeah. Do you see everybody? The internet was uh, 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 delighted to learn that Fisher Stevens was a real uh, coxman, real real stick man. Did not know this. Yeah. Apparently, he's got a real uh, a real real resume of starlets. Fisher Stevens, lady killer. Stickman, Sir Fucks a lot. He <laughs> Fisher Stevens can get it. Yep, yep. Uh, Fisher uh, Stevens mm. and Freeze. <laughs> it's around this time <laughs> that it wasn't clear whether or not he played field hockey, fucked a lot, was gay, <laughs> or uh, did brownface. And resume all of them. I'm sorry, what is that not to see? I was not to see the meta. Yeah. yeah, yeah and then yeah. I ruined it by seeing the meta. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. That's fine. That's, I bet that's you're wondering double how I got up. here. Mm, there I am. Uh, whatever. I'll... Fisher Stevens had a lot of girlfriends, famous girlfriends. Like? Who were hot. Are I can't we, remember. Are, it was all these like 80s pictures. I think Michelle or Pfeiffer. Or not? Or not? Mad at, that white at, gold? at Short Circuit too. I, I, um, uh, I love both of them, but they came out when I was a child, and I was obsessed with both of them. Well, and one of them was clearly cheaper to rebroadcast again and again and again on HBO because uh, while Short Circuit One was the superior movie, Short Circuit Two was one I've seen twenty times more. I just think Ali Sheedy needs more work. That's all. Uh, uh, you you want to put her to work? Yeah, well, I mean, as much as she wants. To. Oh, I guess it was only Michelle Pfeiffer. Maybe it was just a bunch Still of pictures of him and, him and Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah, it was. It was just a bunch of these pictures, but yeah. Oh, this guy. He was kind of fuck. He was he was a yeah. real he was a real fox. This yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. I I I short king too. Yeah, good right? for him. Tiny, for tiny him. man. I'm not King. jealous at all. Not jealous at all. Yeah. Was he dating her when she was like in question? Cat but, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Question, question, question. I'd have to look it up. Uh, they, there's a non-zero chance. Like, I just want to wear like one foot tall platform uh, stilts at all time. Would you? Would you judge me? I don't know why I'm saying these words. Would you judge? Mm. I was going to say. <laughs> Open my mouth. Would you judge me if I wore one foot tall platform stilts at all times? He's Mike shaking him, his Mike head now. Yeah, okay. He's, saying he's no. shaking yeah. his head now. Yeah. yeah, okay. You would want one foot tall stilts? Yeah, I only want to be six, six foot, foot seven-ish. All right. Yeah. No, I think it would be good. Yeah? I would normalize it. Should we... 
how long do you think I could go before I give up that bit? About 30 minutes. Yeah, because then your ankles, because your ankles are going to be. There yeah, they are. I don't know. You're counting the minutes until flip flop season. You think that you're going to commit to more than 30 stilts. minutes in fucking foot high stilts? Yeah. You ain't going to like that shit. Be banging your head on stuff, and it's all gonna be between his toes. Knowing the what toes. the weather is like up there, yeah. I mean, yeah, and you can just go ask I'd a be tall guy. To you space. don't have to. It's cold in space. You would. Yeah. You, know? you, you don't even have to do it though. You can just go ask a guy. It ain't hey, no place to raise your what's kids. What's the weather like up there? <laughs> just ask him. They're cool with that. In fact, it's cold as hell. It's gonna be long, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, okay, I, I I can't exterior. <laughs> oh hell! <laughs> exterior hell. Is it, this is episode two. This is no. We're still in the first episode. Wow. Okay. Of season uh, this, just five. Just the pilot. Season five. No. no, this is no. This is we're just continuing it where okay. it naturally leaves with off. You. Okay, I'm with you. All right. Um, the cast of Cheers. <laughs> And I mean, I, I, I pre both ladies too. <laughs> Still, both ladies because then they swap one lady for the other lady. Yeah, yeah. Uh, both of them. Yeah, but they're one, there. One is passed away though. A, it's AI. Okay, we're doing a lot of AI now okay, in Hollywood. Now that we've AI. now that we've eliminated all writers, there's a lot of AI. Oh, okay. That that may have been an actual discussion we had about <laughs> world's greatest con. I was like, I don't know, my voice is off, and Justin like without. Any hesitation was like, eh, this will not be a problem soon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, everybody's. Well, I got to go. <laughs> everybody's AI. Uh, cast of Cheers is there, but they're upside down and their hands are feet. And uh, there we go. They're and uh, they're all they're all banging their feet on the uh, on the bar, and they're saying like, "Cheers, cheers, 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 cheers." Interior. Um, Brian's playing an electric guitar, <laughs> but it's AI, so it's awesome. Uh, and then that's the rest of the show is just Brian playing electric guitar. <laughs> And we're and, done. And it's a one -er. and We're it's, out. It's a one -er. We're out. We're out. Him on the guitar is a one -er. Uh We don't know. Okay. We don't know. That's the thing. A true artist you never tell. tells. You just find out later. It's just, it just is what it is. Yeah. And then you just know what you know. Brian's playing electric guitar for 40 minutes unbroken <laughs> on episode one. Season five is succession. None of the characters except for Jerry show up. We use intellectual property from 11 different corporate powerhouses. Sure. We have no legal right to any of it. Uh, Brad Pritt is uh, in it. And it's <laughs> mostly just because I mispronounced his name. <laughs> Brad Pritt. Uh, Br Brad, Brad Pritt is in it. Um, I feel like this it's is an me. un. It's me, this Brad is Prince. this is a pitch that will sure. live forever. It's not perfect. Uh, not so hard, writers. Yeah, not so hard. Enjoy yeah. the picket line, losers. I'm here spinning fucking gold. That's right. Off the dome. <laughs> By the way, it's off the dome. So good. I know a lot of you were thinking you must have been sitting on that for a while. Nope. Nope. Just right out. <laughs> <laughs> off these lips. Gems. <laughs> All gems. All of them. Brad Pritt out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you to the green room. I got to top any of that. Come on. And up he goes. Thank you to the green room, everybody. Welcome back to the great night pre-show. We're still here. I'm still Bryce Castillo. And uh, we're still, I'm, I've, I've, I've successfully escorted you out of the green room. Welcome back, everybody. We've got to do a few things here before we get started with the show, which is perfect because we need to wait a few moments for the guys to get out of that room and, and get everything sorted. First off, we're going to do our birthday borner. This is the part of the pre-show where I go and give all the shout outs that you told us that we need to go give. Over in our Discord, discord.greatnight.tv is a website to go get in there. Join us, please. 
Uh, let's see, we got since the 25th. Oh, we got a bunch of birthdays here. Here is some of them, including uh, la, 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 la. So, uh, War Singer's birthday was on Sunday. Happy 48th birthday to War Singer. Uh, his gift to himself is back surgery on Wednesday. I hope your surgery goes well, War Singer. Uh, that is also the same day that ICU's birthday was. So happy birthday to ICU back on the 30th. Uh, the Lenina had a birthday on the 27th. Happy birthday to the Lenina. Uh, Christy Cates' birthday was this past weekend. Happy birthday, Christy. Uh, G. James B.'s brother, uh, William John B.'s birthday was April 28th. Happy birthday uh, to William John B. And uh, Hot Yeah 25's birthday is to yesterday. Happy birthday, Hot Yeah 25. I hope that you uh, all had a great birthday and uh, uh, that uh, you break all of your legs, everybody. If you want to get a shout out in the birthday corner, this is uh, uh, the place to do it. It's discord.greatnight.tv. This is the place where we'll shout it out. Let's do a little bit of critical racing theory. First off, uh, uh, first off, I, I'm going to do, I'm doing, uh, uh, if you're a patron on LFGX, uh, you'll get, uh, you'll get a thing. You'll get another thing. I gave you, gave you a little bit of an audio teasy thing last week. I think I have a, I have a, I'm going to do a little bit more of that. But uh, in the meantime, uh, let's let's do some critical racing theory. Let's talk about the race. Over the weekend was the Azerbaijan Grand Prix in Baku. And uh, for a weekend that was stuffed with supposedly high action sessions between uh, two different qualities, the race and the sprint, um, that there would have been a better race at the end of all that. And... Uh, it did not seem to be that the Grand Prix was actually that great. The sprint was more interesting. The sprint shootout was really cool. I like quality a lot. I think that maybe they should give up on the sprint and just do like an extra quality or figure out like a time trial system. If they want to do double, a if they want to do more action on the Grand Prix weekend, then I think they can, but it doesn't need to be a race. I think there's time trial stuff and quality things that you can do. Um, yeah, and then you know, Jay Ramirez is saying like, <laughs> that was that was the race that we got after a month of no racing. Oh my God, it's a not so Grand Prix, says Caitlin Phoenix. That's right, that's right. Frisco says the two days of quality was confusing. I, I it definitely uh, seems like it didn't exactly make a lot of sense. They did the the Sunday the qualifying for Sunday on Friday, but then the qualifying for Saturday on Saturday, which is uh, not exactly how that goes. That door for me. Bro. Hey, Bryce. Yes. Um, <clears throat> yes, Carl. Uh, 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 first time, long time. Uh, how long does the uh, soccer season last? Like, like, is there a deadline that we should, you know, have our corporate outing? Uh, I, I don't know that one. I would recommend um, uh, Google.com. Um, I can see when the MLS season nope. will be. I think it's in... I think it'll go until October 21st this year. Uh, hot, hot land. Hot, hot land. Hot, I got offered it, tickets on Saturday. Wait. Well, not tickets. Ticket. Ah, uh, ticket. I didn't go. I was busy. Yeah. It was a busy weekend. It was a busy weekend. Busy yeah. Weekend. Oh. Uh, um, but yeah, I think I think who, we'll have. Who won? I don't know. <laughs> I'll watch soccer. This is a sports segment, and he You're only wants to talk about the sport that the I will shirt not talk of, about. Of, of the Austin Football Club. I know, yeah. It's, I'm yeah. a fucking straight poser, baby. <laughs> Guess what? Wolf and, wolf and sheep's clothing over here. I don't give a shit. I'm identifying with your niches so I can gain your friendship. <laughs> and then and then not talk about the thing. Guess when I'm wearing a Star Wars t-shirt? Never seen one. <laughs> really? Nope. You've never once seen a star go to war? No. Fucking bo all you stars are very You never once seen a, a star say, hey, dad, I always respected that you were in the previous war of the stars. I want, mm. I lied about my age, uh, so I'm going to uh, whoop uh, a shovel. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. No, I, no, no. I, no. I, shit. That was the first one. What? See how effort effortlessly I slip in. <laughs> These are the tricks of the trade when you're a fraud like me. That's what I do, my friend. You know, you'll never know that I'm amongst you. I'm so effortless. I'm just another water molecule like anyone else in the ocean, but I'm not. I'm a ball bearing of lies. 
meticulously mirrored so none will be the wiser. <laughs> I've never watched anything. I don't know anyone. I'm just the world's most expert fraud. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, try. Ask me about something. Sure. sure. Uh, 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 welcome to Psychology 101. Mm. Uh, uh, my my uh, guest professor here mm. has uh, been everywhere, done yes. everything. Mm. Uh, his name was, uh, oh, I'm sorry, what was your. Gerhard Schleinman. <laughs> yes. Good old Gerhard. Me, I need to talk Schleinman. to Dr. Schleinman. Are you just about done with. Professor Gernhardt Schleiman. Okay, Professor Dr. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, your grades are dependent on how loud you clap for Gerhard Schleiman. Thank you. The brain. Yep. Located between our ears. Betwixt, as the British would say. What knowledge is held within it? Well, that's up to you. How much do you want to fill it with? And where are you going to put it? For example, if I snap my fingers, did you hear? I did hear that. Makes you think. And how did I think? And did I hear that? I like to call it the Schleiman's Principle. What's going on? When? Where? How? What? Five W's and an H. Schleiman style. Yeah. Did you say Thank the you okay. and good night. Thank you, Dr. Schleiman. Okay. <laughs> um, hey, Bryce, what's up with F1? So, hey, uh, there's an F1 race this weekend. How'd uh, the cars go? Uh, they went. They uh, they were kind of slow, to be honest. Yeah. There were not enough crashes. Is there? Uh, uh, they were in. They were in uh, uh, Azerbaijan. They were this... in Azerbaijan. That's right. See, uh, it's a it's a street court. Best in the world at this shit. <laughs> Anything. The street course. It's built on a historic castle. You yeah. Go through the walls of the castle, through the downtown of Baku. There was a big, uh, big rumors around F1 this weekend, right? One of the drivers might be uh, in 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 the mix for one Taylor Swift. Ah, yeah. the The story is that Fernando Alonso, uh, two time champion, world champion, by the way, Fernando Alonso. Uh, the rumor is that he may have been dating Taylor Swift. Might be. It's pretty much a meme. I'm I'm pretty sure, but everyone. So is this the thing? Is every sport going to do this? Because there was a meme like two weeks ago that Vince Wilfork of the New England Patriots was dating her. And that's a funnier match if you Google Vince Wilfork. Oh, yeah? Let me do that. Yes. Because as I mean, like Taylor Swift dating an F1 racer would seem in zeitgeist enough. Oh. But Vince Wilfork, who is uh, a massive human being. It doesn't seem like... like, like Taylor Swift is pretty tall, but she would still look pretty funny standing next boy. to Vince Wilfork. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I I guess so. I mean, the, the fun bit is like he's been... So much of this is like boy band and like social media. So, you know, he's not outright denying it and everyone gets to do... They're, oh, I know so many Taylor Swift references. I'm going to yeah. sneak them into the commentary all the fucking time. So was that, that was like that. this weekend. This weekend, everybody was like, I've it's, got a blank space, baby. And it's... It's been longer than that. I, I think they were talking about this at the last race a month ago. Oh, like, really? It has been a, kind of a simmering meme. Um, what is uh, <laughs> What does Dennis Miller think of Gerhard Schleidman? <laughs> You know, babe. <laughs> Wait, what's this guy's name again, Bryce? The racer? Oh, Fernando Alonso? Taylor Swift dating Fernando Alonso, babe, is like Gerhard Schleiman trying to explain the five W's, right? <laughs> Four W's and an H. Four W's and an H, babe. Come on. That's Schleiman style. Come on. Keep up. <laughs> Oh yeah, so uh, that's that. Uh, this weekend is the Miami Grand Prix. Uh, anybody excited for that? Oh, Woo! Yeah. 
Uh, I was thinking, which of, is funny because it's done in a parking lot in Miami Beach, in uh, Miami uh, Gardens, for, in Miami Gardens. Yeah, Miami Gardens. Yeah, no, Miami Beach would be exciting. Miami Gardens is a place next to Miramar, which is right next to Fort Lauderdale. So, uh, it is it is amazing that that's where they they do it because I, the Dolphins owner Stephen Ross made a big deal about making it an F1 track. Is is this like the Four Seasons thing where they booked the wrong venue and they had to give a presidential talk? No, this is just storage it, it's, facility. It's like when everybody got excited about my, moving to Miami during COVID. Uh, no, everybody looks at a map and they think that Fort Lauderdale and Miami are the same thing because they're only a half hour away. Uh, much in the same way that some people think that Round Rock and Austin are the same thing when they're they look at a map it, and they it, move it's in there. Not far, it's not right. that far. It's not that far. But I would say culturally, Round Rock and Austin are very close to each other, whereas Fort Lauderdale and and Miami are very far apart. Like they are, they are significantly different kind of vibes. Yeah, we are we talking more Burger King and McDonald's or Crips and Bloods? Uh, weed and cocaine. <laughs> That would be that would be the difference between Fort more, Lauderdale it was more and, salient than and I expected. Miami that was, Dade. That was quite good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that would be that would be how I would describe the difference between between the two. What? Um. But, yeah. Yeah. So there we go. Miami Miami <laughs> Grand Prix. Who's who's the favorite? Is there anybody? Are there favorites in certain races? Uh, like because of the course or because of the drivers, Bryce? Not uh, 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 oh. also. Are we supposed to know individual drivers' names yes. more than no. the teams? Yes, or, no, because they're or, the famous the ones. Because they're on, they're on the show. It, there's you only just twenty watch, drivers. Watch, just watch the show, what? and everyone will know. You know the names, and then you watch the races, and you're like, oh, the people, the men from the show are now racing each names other. Names like Max Verstappen. And the other guy and the one that might be fucking Taylor Swift and the one that, you know, baby Lando. <laughs> yeah, baby exactly. Lando's one of them. Is that really? Yeah, please let them get it's a thing. Uh, we're at the <laughs> limit of my knowledge. Hold on. Baby Lando. Is that like the Mandalorian? <laughs> Holy. He's in a little pod and he's like, ha ha ha, you old pirate. <laughs> I would love it. <laughs> Works every time. Yep, that's him. Okay. That's his, uh, he, he looks like a little baby. He's like a little baby. Uh, he just looks like a little baby. Yeah, it'll be. I. Uh, it'll be. Sometimes there are. Um, uh, sometimes the commentators will really know, like, oh, this team is going to be better at this type of circuit. Yeah. Um, but I never really know much. There's you don't lot. know. It's not like in golf where there's like, Tiger Woods plays the Masters well or something like that. Right. Um, but it should be a good race. Uh, uh, it'll be at the Hard Rock uh, parking lot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it is, but they have to make it, it seem is. like it's a very exciting part of Miami, which is only, it's technically in Dade. It, but uh, uh, I have worked at that stadium. Uh, the only thing that is exciting about that stadium is if you walk like a mile away from it, you can go to a horse track, and if you walk a mile further than that, there's a titty bar. That is yes. now. It's been a while since I've been there, so yeah. so maybe more exciting shit has popped up. New titty around. bars have gotten even. But closer. I do know that last time they built a fake marina That's right. in the parking lot. That's so in they, the in the middle of the track. Yeah. So they so they built like a, a fake water and then rolled some boats into the parking lot. Uh, there we go. That was it. That was the fake marina. Oh, wow. It's it's actually it's a just a plastic floor that yeah. they hauled some boats onto. Uh, it's an interesting idea. Who doesn't like being on a boat watching a race? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, no, nobody knows whether or not to cheer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 well, the good news is when everybody's using the bathroom on the boat, they can just open the. Oh, oh no. no! You can just get rid of the waste As into you... the water. Normally, if you're on the boat, if you're in the water, but if the water no is... harm, no foul. Maybe. But if you're just in a parking lot, you might as well just be shitting on the concrete. Okay. Yeah, not what he said. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah. Right. But you know what? Mike hey, Mike Miami. Yeah. Oh. Who is that? Oh, my Miami <laughs> Bryce. Miami Bryce <laughs> is here, Brian. <laughs> Miami <laughs> Bryce. <laughs> hey, Miami <laughs> Bryce. What? <laughs> uh, final, uh, final, final <laughs> thoughts on the F1 race, Miami <laughs> Bryce. Uh, 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 who's gonna Who's gonna win? Oh, I think it's gonna be the Italian one. Oh. Well, wow. noted <laughs> Miami <laughs> native Miami <laughs> Bryce is here. It's me. I'm Miami Bryce. Yeah. Uh, this, our, this is my new favorite character. Uh, I don't care that Bryce doesn't want us to keep it alive, but it will be. It's great. I, 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 I don't know where we get it. All right, everybody. It's uh, time to do a great night. Let's check out how everybody is doing. Of course, in the meantime, you can support us over on Patreon, patreon.com slash great night. That's a website where you can give us money for all of the great funnies that we're giving you. Let's take a look at uh, how everyone's doing. Justin. Yay, yay. Brian. Yo -ho! Annalisa. Fine. And Jeff. Let's do it. And Brett. Hello, friend. There we go. Plus the chat in our studio. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much for joining us here in the Great Night Pre Show Green Room, Great Room, whole dang thing. Brett, are you ready to do the thing? Do the thing. Then I'll count you in.